Not too long ago, we did a video taking a look at this Dell monitor. It's the 2007 FPB, and I really like it. I got this, actually I have two of them now, but I got it to play retro games on. It's not gonna be for everyone, but it does seem like it's a kind of popular option with certain people. I'm digging it. it it's versatile. I mean, boom, you could you know, make it go in a vertical or horizontal mode with the included stand. It's got most of the inputs that I wanted. It has S-Video, which looks really good on this uh, monitor, in my opinion. It has composite, and then it has uh, VGA and DVI. So it's a cool little monitor. I want it just to have in the corner to play some retro games on. We've tested NES, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, I think Sega Saturn, a few things in my videos on this, but the one that I really wanted to check out was Dreamcast. Like right now in this, you know, footage you're seeing, this is composite, so the little yellow plug. And to me, honestly, it doesn't look horrible, but it is a little fuzzy, you're, you know, there's some artifacts going on. It's not the greatest, but it, it seems okay to me. But what I really wanted to test with this was VGA, because I have a feeling it's gonna look like fantastic on this monitor with VGA. But I have one problem. I don't have a VGA cable for this system. I know there's third party ones out there. Um, there's other ones that you know are higher quality that people have made. But a viewer of mine hit me up. You know who you are and I do appreciate it. It's like, hey, I got an extra official Dreamcast VGA box that he got, like I guess he ordered from Sega way back in the day, you know, 20 years ago, over 20 years ago, you know, most likely and they accidentally sent him an extra one. He just had it sitting around. He was like, hey, you know, are you interested? So we made a deal, man, we made a deal. Uh, he, he wanted some controllers, so he's getting like this SN30 Pro, the new one, the green one. This is not the one I reviewed on, on camera. This is a brand new sealed one. This is the one that I reviewed, but like DK Oldie style, he's getting like a, he wanted a Retro Fighters controller. And I'm throwing in a few other things too. I'm gonna make it worth his while. But like DK Oldie style, so I'm filming your, your order. I'm gonna give him the purple one too. This is an extra purple one, not the one I reviewed. But I'm gonna give him two of these and a few other controllers, some little bonuses. So hey man, I do appreciate it, dude. Help me out quite a bit here. But I find this thing fascinating because when I received it, I just received it today. So I'm gonna send out his stuff uh, in, in a moment here. like today or tomorrow, but I, I found this fascinating. It's a Japanese box, but he lives in the US and he ordered it from Sega. So what happened was, is when this came out, I believe it came out in 2000 in Japan, and it went for, at that time, around 60 US dollars. That's about what it cost if you were in Japan and you bought one of these. I'm not sure what they charged in, in the US, but these weren't sold in stores in the US. You had to order it through Sega, so that's how he got it, right? Through Sega US, but it's a Japanese box. But the one cool thing is, is they put this sticker on the back. Sega of America Dreamcast Inc. And they have a San Francisco address, Sega, made in Japan. Like that, that's pretty cool, man. So if you were able to order one of these, you got a Japanese box with a sticker on the back. Kind of neat. But we're gonna go ahead and check this out. Like I said, we got composite right here. Uh, let me kind of zoom up, see if you can, you know, kind of see a little better, like the quality with composite. It's not horrible, man. It's really not horrible, but this is most likely gonna be awesome. So let me get this out of the box here. I don't think this one is used. Like he said, he had two of them, but it doesn't matter as long as uh, I get to use it. And I have not even messed with it yet. I don't think this one was ever used. There's like no wear on the actual metal plug here. That is freaking awesome, man. I never thought I would own one of these, but here we are. So that that's really cool. You have a composite with the uh, audio, S video down there, uh, PC TV mode, and then your VGA here, and then stereo audio. So let's get this plugged in. So we're gonna have to plug it into the back of the system. Let me power this off. It does have a uh, manual. It's got a nice little heft to it. This feels like a quality little box here. But okay, we do have a English manual. So it's like, bam, plug it in through PC audio, plug it in through that, put it to the PC mode if you're using VGA. I guess if you're using S video or composite, you would put it to TV mode. But okay, let's uh, let's get this plugged in and, and try it out. 
Okay, so that, that's pretty simple plugging this in. We just had to run a VGA cable, which when I bought this Dell monitor, it came with one. Plug that into the Dreamcast VGA box. Plug in the cable for audio from the speaker into that box as well. And we're ready to go. A little bit of a mess of cables, but that's okay right now because holy crap, this looks really clean in my opinion. I mean, obviously it was gonna be better than composite, but this VGA box, like there's no distortions or anything. I've seen people using third party, like the cheap like cables, not even a box, just a VGA cable for the Dreamcast off of like Amazon. And it just, it, there'll be distortions and lines. This is like straight up clean. So let's get into a game real quick here. Now I'm gonna switch to like Sonic Adventure or something, see how that looks. But so far, this is, this is freaking nice, man. Oh my God. Like if, I, I almost think like if you're gonna play Dreamcast on a monitor or TV that has VGA, if you get your hands on, on a VGA box, a decent quality one, either the official one or something that you know is gonna be good, like I don't even think there's necessarily a reason to worry about getting an HDMI mod for this system. This looks fantastic. And I know there's some games that, you know, aren't compatible with VGA, but there are those tricks, you know, forcing VGA with some games or games that are patched, that kind of thing. So. Yeah, there's, there's options. There's always pros and cons, man. But this this looks brilliant. All right, let's switch to another game. But I'm, I'm blown away. This this is awesome. This is quality right here. I wish I would have had one of these back in the day. I don't even think I was really aware of the VGA box from Sega, you know, when the Dreamcast was out. I love the Dreamcast. I played this system all the time. Fantasy Star Online, all the fighting games. Oh, my God. So here we go, a little Sonic Adventure 2. The title screen looks crisp. Let's check out the game. Oh my God, why, why did I never know how clean VGA could look on a stock freaking Dreamcast? This is, that made my day, dude. I appreciate making the deal for this thing, man. And you know, hey, being able to make a little more content with this monitor. Wow. This is freaking nice. I'm, I know I'm sucking right now, but I, I'm just, I'm, I'm blown away. This is really cool. This is just brilliant. I don't, I don't know what else to say. This is amazing looking. I highly recommend if you're running a TV or a monitor that has VGA to try playing your Dreamcast that way, shit. But there you go, I'm, I'm glad I got to do this little bit of a follow-up video. Any other ideas, always throw them out there. I do appreciate, you know, people tossing ideas on things to test, you know, ideas for rant videos, you know, whatever, man. Throw them out there. It is appreciated. Having a hard time getting on that rail to grind, but hey guys, I really do appreciate y'all. Thanks for hanging. Bye.